Hey everybody, Jeff Murray here and John Shipshock, how are you? <laughs> and we're here to tell you about these new exciting new paths we have here on the golf course. We're out at, uh, at our, uh, our pass here on number 13 area, so we're excited about these bypass areas which are here for your safety. John, tell us a little bit about this. You bet. So right now we have this new path created between the 5th hole and the 13th hole. And this will help uh, our residents who live in the back nine neighborhood and our nine hole play uh, once you get over to 12 or come in from five if you're in the back nine neighborhood you can take this path and you don't disrupt any play on 13 you don't have to worry about coming around the green and disrupting jeff when he's sitting over his five foot putt <laughs> you know for par and you don't have to worry about disrupting even much at the tee because you cut in right by the gold tee which very few people play so it's a wonderful way to kind of just get your way through this area of the golf course without really disrupting golf on five or 13. And, and you know what else? A great, great way to keep from getting hit by one of those little white flying golf balls. And I heard that we even had that happen recently. Yeah, yeah, recently Chris Meyer was just playing out here and somebody came barreling down right down this cart path where we do have a sign that says no carts, but they must have missed it and then drove right out into 13 hole while they were playing and uh, it was pretty close actually. So that's why we certainly think adding these types of paths like here and one we're gonna mention on 17 in a minute uh, are a big deal for the club. We've got a lot of great feedback so far about this uh, new addition and, and we think it's gonna be great for the future. Right, and one of the things that we're working on today, we're getting our, our actually we're doing an asphalt uh, quote. So we'll be presenting it, that to our board of directors to find out more information about that and we'll hopefully be getting this uh, asphalted real soon. So that's our hope. So we want your feedback. So certainly uh, give us uh, your, your feedback on this stuff. Let John and I know. And you can also uh, email us at feedback at bishopsbay.com because we want to hear uh, what you have to say about this and uh, also our number 17. Right. Now, John alluded to that, but let's talk a little bit about that on our number 17 path that will be put in and we are working on that path here. We're waiting on some permits that will be uh, that are in progress right now with the county. Uh, the number 17 path will be uh, will be done uh, and we'll have asphalt on that path as well. That goes up on the hill. Uh, so tell us a little bit about that. Sure. Yeah, we that will be an alternate path that we've cut in uh, back behind the blue tee and then we've got to pinch as close as we could with the property line. Uh, obviously we're limited, we couldn't get it all the way out to Highway M, but we've pushed it over as far as possible, and we think that's going to help alleviate the disruption. You know, we have a lot of carts that work through there, also walkers or people coming to the club mm -hmm. on bike, and we think that'll help uh, get people off to the side. There won't be as much disruption of golf, and then it'll help things flow there with coming and going from the club also. Yeah. And we do have a lot of traffic, obviously, for folks in the uh, surrounding neighborhoods and so forth. And we want them to be able to come to the club and enjoy the club and, and so forth and use their carts. And this will uh, gain extra access for those folks as well. So that's going on. And then thirdly, uh, we did adjust our, uh, our signal lights that right. let people know going through the tunnel. Uh, so there is a longer lead time on those. So now you'll know... Uh, if that light is red, there could be somebody in the tunnel, but we always want to remind you to always slow down when you're approaching that tunnel. So on that tunnel under Highway M to always, you know, don't go barreling through there. But if it's red, there's probably somebody in there. So, but we have added additional lead time in that yep. tunnel. So how's that been going, John? It's going great. I mean, it's, it's definitely been something that I've noticed. It's working pretty well now. And we, we do have that note on the cart to remind you um, so when you do get into that area and the cart slows down to 10 miles an hour, it just gives you that extra potential, like, you know, being aware of the situation and just trying to keep an eye on the potential for someone being in there. Yeah, it's a great, great feature. So all these, uh, all these measures obviously are for the safety of all of the folks here at Bishop's Bay. And we want to make sure that you have a safe and a very, uh, a very pleasurable uh, round here at uh, golf. So thank you very much for taking that extra time and extra measure to make sure that all of our members here are safe at Bishop's Bay. Thank you for your, uh, for your attention, and we look forward to seeing you at, the, at Bishop's Bay here real soon. See you, everyone.